Today's video is about bandwagon effect. If I had to explain bandwagon effect in a single sentence, I would say people usually like to do or follow what a large number of people are doing. Now before I continue with the explanation, since this is YouTube, I have to remind you about the process of subscription. And if you subscribe to this channel, I will keep on creating awesome contents for you guys in the future. Now for starters, I am going to tell you about a past instance where I was actually fooled by the bandwagon effect. I was actually out shopping for snacks, yes, snacks for a special occasion and there were two shops in the area. Let's say they were shop 1 and shop 2. There were two people standing behind the counter of shop 1 and three people standing behind the counter of shop 2. It indicated to me and probably it is a general indication that those people standing behind the counters are there to serve the customers. Another thing was that there were four people standing in front of the shop number one and there was only one person standing in front of shop number two. Now I thought that shop number one is much better than shop number two that is because four people were already standing there they were probably buying from shop number one. And naturally, I made the decision to go to buy my snacks from shop number one. But when I actually went there, to my surprise, out of the four people that were standing in front of the shop, three of them were actually servers that were serving the customers as well. Yes, shop number one had five in total five people serving the customers. Two of them were behind the counter and three of them were standing in front of the counter. And shop number two had three people standing behind the counter meaning they were definitely the servers and only one person standing in front of the counter. They might be customer or another server. The thing in here is that I was fooled by shop one thinking that there were more people buying from shop 1. Whereas it was not actually the truth. There were only one person buying and that person probably went there because they saw three more people standing in front of the shop. And I ended up buying my snacks from shop number 1. And I only realized that three of the people that were standing in front of the counter were actually servers after putting my order. In this case, I decided to go to shop number one and it was actually a result of bandwagon effect. I subconsciously decided to jump on the bandwagon of shop number one and as a result, they got an extra customer. Now bandwagon effect. A literal bandwagon is a thing that carries a lot of people. Bandwagon effect is just another way of mentioning the herd mentality. Yes, herd mentality. A lot of people have the tendency to follow the herd and do whatever everyone else is doing. But not you obviously, that is because you are watching this video and after completely watching this video, you are going to understand what bandwagon effect is and how you can create a mental barrier that will help you to stay immune from the bandwagon effect. There are ways some people might try to take advantage of you using the effect of bandwagon effect. There are some simple examples where we can see the effects of bandwagon effect at large. Of course, the fashion industry has to be the biggest example for this. People are chasing the biggest trend all the time. Another thing can be the fads about different diets that people start following every other month. It seems like there is a new breakthrough in the biological sciences industry where there are newer and newer ways of losing weights way faster. 
There are different examples of political inclinations about which I am not going to elaborate in this video. That is because I don't like to talk about politics in this channel. Now I am going to tell you about how people might try to use the effect of this cognitive bias and force you to make certain decisions. First of all, buyer behavior. When looking to buy something new, we are likely to see what others are interested in buying and using. If a lot of people are buying something, there must be something right with the product, right? Well, yes and no. Yes, there are cases where you can take the right decisions about buying something by looking at what others are buying. But the problem is the marketing managers of every single company also knows that. So they try to use this effect for themselves and promote their brand. They might say something like 9 out of 10 mothers or 9 out of 10 doctors are using it or recommending it. The claim of these companies might just be partially true. They might be incentivizing the people that are saying that they prefer this kind of specific brands over the others. And if people know that they will be incentivized by saying that they prefer brand X over brand Y, they are always going to say that yes, I prefer your brand, now give me some money. And then the companies are going to use the positive statements of these people as testaments of the superior quality of a specific product or a brand. This happens all the time. Sometimes the brands are actually good and oftentimes they are not as much. Now obviously I am going to talk about how do you actually beat this bias. When you start to research for something you are about to buy, do not listen to how many people are actually buying it and have something positive to say. I am not saying that do not listen to anyone, anywhere, anytime. You can listen to people. You should listen to people if these people are close to you and you actually trust their opinion and when these people have also bought the products and used it, you can easily listen to their opinion. But every time you buy something, you have to, you definitely have to look at the products that you are buying itself. You have to see the features and ingredients of every single product or brand you are going to be using. Bandwagon effect can also have an effect in finance and investment. You might have heard about financial bubbles. If not, it is the phenomenon where the value of companies get really really high despite the real value not being that high at all bandwagon effect is one of the reason why that happens. Now I am going to briefly explain about the whole phenomenon. That is because the whole concept of economic bubbles can take almost 20 minutes to explain. So first of all, there are a lot of reasons why the value of the stock of a company increases. Most of the reasons involve the company actually doing a good job in the market. Not the stock market, the actual industry the company is doing business in. And if the company does good in the actual market, their stock prices will go up. That is actually the main reason why stock prices of any company goes up. But sometimes people think that if the stocks are being sold a lot means that the stocks are actually doing good in the market. Well, if everyone is doing it, it has to be good, right? Yeah, I have already answered that before and you know what it is. So more people start to buy the stock. As a result, the price of the specific stock goes up. And some people might think that the short term increase in the stock price is a good indication that the price is going to keep increasing over time. Right. So more and more people start buying the stock. 
It looks good for the company. The price goes up. It creates a positive feedback loop that keeps increasing the value of the stock. It goes higher and higher than ever before. Until obviously you know what is coming. Until there is the inevitable crash. There will always come a time when people realize that the company is floating in a bubble. And you will get nothing when you liquidate the assets of the company. And as a result, a lot of people end up losing a lot of money in the share market. So once again, how are you going to get rid of the effect of the bandwagon effect when you are thinking about investing in the share market? Well, first of all, you have to properly understand the process of investing and how the process of making money from investment works. What kind of stock you are going to invest in. And obviously, you have to have the knowledge about the company that you are going to invest your hard earned money in. You also have to know if the company is either overvalued or undervalued. Only by being a smart investor like that can you get rid of the harms that might come your way from the bandwagon effect in the stock market. And yes, that is where I am going to zip it with bandwagon effect. Thank you for watching till this point. And obviously this is not the end because we still have bonus content left. And today there will be a very simple bonus content. For bonus, I would like to say today that the Spanish word for car is coche. And Spanish word for bus is autobus. That's it. That was bonus for today. Now, I would like to thank you for watching up until this point. If you have already subscribed to this channel, I would also like to thank you for subscribing. I am not going to let you down. I will keep uploading and if you request for anything, I am going to do my best to explain that in a future video. And in the end, I would like to remind you again that you can subscribe to this channel. and It will allow me to keep on continuing with creating videos for you. And lastly, as always. I hope you learned something new today.